Hi everyone, I'm Wilsonator, and welcome back to Rust. We're back. Uh, as you can see, we have an AK. That's right, definitely did not lose one last time. That was non-canon. It was bad fan fiction. So it's now day three of the wipe, and as you can see, we are crafting explosives. We're crafting a total of 100, which should be enough for five C4? Yeah, five. Maybe we could do something. I want to go and take a look at Boris's base. Uh, and just make sure he hasn't expanded. He might have expanded since uh, last time. Cool. We're crafting C4. Can't believe it, dude. Um, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Uh, so I did also research the high quality metal gear. Um, so we're down to 205 scrap now, unfortunately. So uh, not, not a huge deal, though. Now, the only issue I have is, I don't, like I said, I don't have um, ladders. So if we wanted to blow in from above, we can't really do that unless we can find a ladder. Honestly, his base doesn't seem like it'll be that hard to raid, like... So, this is... Either Honeycomb, or this is where his tool cupboard is gonna be. We could either try and just go straight through the armored, or... Could blow in next to it and see what's in there. Part of me tempted to go through armored, but we're gonna need 8 C4 for that, we don't currently have enough. We could go through this wall and then see what we can do from there. It'll probably be armored though, again. All right. Well, I mean, you know, we could we could blow out that back wall and then see what see what we're dealing with. Uh, although I feel like we might end up needing eight C four before we do anything here. I think we probably want to get a bit more sulfur. So I might go out on a uh, farming trip. Ten C four might be sufficient. So eighty explosives. That'd be eight thousand more sulfur. Oof, that's quite a lot. Eight thousand sulfur. Fucking no problem, boys. Just about 5,000 uh, sulfur here. We do have actually almost 1,000 cooked sulfur in the base already. However, we're going to need to just start cooking this up because we need charcoal. Um, we actually need about 11,000 charcoal and we used all of it to make that C4. I literally used every bit of charcoal that I had, I'm pretty sure. Let it cook while we go do some other stuff. We could also get like even just a couple campfires to just burn through uh, wood for, for extra charcoal. I could get some of that too. I'm going to get three more furnaces and we'll put those upstairs. I might honestly just kind of start going into that base, stop trying to, like, we'll get, we'll get what C4 we can with the sulfur we've got. And um, obviously, if we need more, we can try and get it. Okay, this should give us another two, I think. We'll be able to get another two C4. That'll bring us up to uh, seven. If we run out, um, then we just have to try and grind out more and hope that he doesn't come on. <laughs> All right, so what we've got here is we've got resources, uh, boxes, doors. So I'm going to try and go over here real quick and try and build a little raid base. I know we're pretty close to it already, but I would like to be closer. We're going to go through the back, I think. Cool. We want a sleeping bag. I don't know how much loot he's going to have in here, but I'm making sure we have enough storage just in case. Got a backup gun. Uh, flamethrower, we might need to destroy the TC, because I don't really want to waste an explosive on it. Alright, uh, we are. We're ready to go, I think, here. So we're going through this wall here, and we'll see what we can do from, from the inside. Let's not have all the C4. Ah, uh, fuck it. We're, we're already at it. Let's just do it. There's loot, there's loot. Hang on. Uh, TC's definitely there. <sighs> Could go through this one? It's four, right? Maybe, I don't know. Hang on. TC, TC. Shit. Um, uh, we need to get rid of it. With my uh, hammer, hammer. Oh, 
Okay. He's here. I'm not going to check the loot yet. I want to get rid of his bag. Fucking Boris. <laughs> Hello, sunshine. Has he got any other bags in here? Uh, maybe up there. Maybe. Uh, I'm not going to blow up there, though, I don't think. Um. Okay, he's got stuff. Uh, I'm just going to kill him. Oh, no, I kind of fucked it here, though, didn't I? Let's take a look what he's, he's got. A bit of scrap. Not a huge amount of stuff. L96, I got that. I mean, that, that isn't his main loot, though. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's juicy. Put everything in there for the time being. Let's just take a look. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dude. What the fuck? How many gloves? Sulfur. Mm, he's not got a huge amount of stuff, to be honest. I'll say it's worth it. He was storing stuff in here. This is mine. I recognize the skin. He didn't have a lot of gunpowder stored up or even sulfur, but he had a lot of other resources. Didn't make profit in that sense, but it was still, I, I would still say it's worth it. Now, we have to be careful when we're going out. What a fucking base is this? Look at it. This is a very weird base design. There might be something in there, but I don't know if it's worth blowing in. He had a lot of weird stuff though, didn't he? What a weird, like, inventory in total. Just like, a, like, I mean, he had a computer state. Oh, that's, that's a mixing table. Oh, shit, we want one of these. Um, large furnace, that's good. I needed one of those. Um, lots of gloves. This is weird to me. <laughs> I don't understand why he's got so many tactical gloves. Uh, a lot of low-grade fuel, too. I mean, it wasn't the most profitable raid in the world, you know, but we wanted to raid him for other reasons. It wasn't just for um, profit. We wanted to raid him to get rid of him um, because, you know, of this, this fucking thing here. Yeah, we want to go through... Oh, he had a minicopter. Anything else? I'm assuming that this is just going to be leading up to here. I don't know if this is worth going into. I guess we could break one of these walls. Maybe we could, like, steal it. Uh, we could also go through... There's one more area here. Oh, someone's outside. Eh, it might not be worth it, but fuck it. Uh, one box. Key cards. Bit of scrap. Um, I don't know if I'd say it was worth the C4 to get it, but it, yeah, the key cards are good, I guess. Um, we will have to deal with whoever's outside door camp, and I did hear them before. If you're going to be sat outside watching the door, it's going to be tricky to get out. We got naked and just see what's going on. In fact, we could spawn it in our raid base there. Had a shotgun and a revolver. Should we go now or what? Like, should we just quickly run now? Let's try and get the, the best stuff first here. Theoretically, we could take it to the raid base and then take it home, but I think we're just going to try and run it home. The, at least this first batch. Let's go quick. I know we didn't bring the L96 and stuff here, but okay. Nice. <sighs> okay, so the fir first amount of stuff, got it. Oh, I like the scrap, man. I like the scrap. Thank you for the scrap, my friend. I do want to steal his minicopter as well. Um, so we need to get rid of one of the walls up there to try and get it out. Once we get a mini, we can fly to the bandit camp and maybe buy some of that farming stuff we want to use to it so we can farm up berries and we can make that pure tea. More guns. I mean, yeah, this is a, a decent amount of stuff. Let's try and get this back home. Ooh. There's a guy there. I don't think he's coming to the raid. Ah, it looks like he was just getting started, to be honest. Oh, I'm going to leave everything. I feel bad. There's a bunch of resources in here, too. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe make a couple more trips. I'm leaving some of this just random crap that we're not going to need. I don't need double barrel shotguns and stuff, you know. 
Oh, there's a guy that I see him. Does he see me? Should we try and kill him? There might be another one like we'd had before, but... He's there. I see him. I mean, I... I 100% take it. Thank you. Oh, he had a saw. He had a saw, man. He wasn't that. He wasn't like a noob. Just about everything, really. Um, yeah, I think I think that'll do it. That'll do the job. Uh, and then the next step will be uh, getting the helicopter, I think. That jackhammer, though, it is quite damaged now. I don't know if it'll be able to go through another wall, but we'll be able to damage a wall with it. So, we want a farm here. Do you want to get a minicopter storage, like, above this area? We're completely winging it with this base, obviously. But I feel like these unorthodox bases, in some cases, are actually good because it's less easy to kind of predict where things are going to be, right? Okay, so this area is kind of... We're going to leave this open for the time being. There will be a ladder hatch here um, going up. Obviously, we'll get embrasures on these windows and stuff. There'll be doors, obviously, here and here and here. This is going to be where our farm is going to be. careful these are expensive uh so what we need to do now we need to research ladder oh fuck we still don't know ladders though do we can we get five embrasures i don't think we even have five windows to fill in yet but we'll, we'll get the embrasures for them anyways let me jump on top to get through cool oh oh they've, okay they put the recipe oh, that's useful this when it was on staging you had to figure them out yourself that's actually a lot better. You can make low grade with it. Oh, you can make gunpowder a lot cheaper. Uh, it's, well, I say a lot cheaper. 10 gunpowder for 20 sulfur and 30 charcoal versus 10 for... Uh, so you can slightly cheaper gunpowder crafting. The low grade fuel seems exactly the same though. Okay, so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to make a little uh, mechanism for uh, the minicopter essentially, right? using this um this smart switch so let's get this here so we're gonna branch some off in a second here like that output okay so what we can do with this all right um i'm sure that most of you know about this by now however this will be my first time really using it practically check this out so this switch from my phone i can go So if I'm coming into land, I can open the door prior to me actually arriving, which saves me having to get close and open it. <laughs> it's just a little novelty thing, but I can, I can just open and close the door using my phone, which is actually really cool. And we can obviously hook up more uh, smart stuff like that, but yeah, that one's actually working now. Do we want to go to the bandit camp right now and buy some of that farming equipment? Yeah, so we might buy some medium car parts uh and then we can look into getting a car as well which could be pretty useful uh I, I don't know if we'll do all that this wipe thanks bandits appreciate the uh the transactions bros okay let's try and get home we've got everything here there you go you see the door opening <laughs> it's actually so cool ah caught my wheel there we go and i can close the door all right, beautiful. Um, we made it home with all of that stuff. We actually brought the modular car lift as well. Um, so we can set up a garage, technically. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time uh, farming, or at least I'm not going to show it all, it all on camera because it's just, I know it's not the most insane thing to watch. All right, we'll make one. And I guess we'll make a purifier too. Okay, I'm going to get a switch for it here right yep that's running now so it requires uh five power total which it has so i can activate this from my phone now i should be able to if i go over to it and it starts up i could be like alexa turn on water pump turning on your water pump thanks no problem also remember to subscribe if you're enjoying this video all right so that works 
So, okay, so it's got salt water in there. I'm assuming then we need more power for this. Yep, it's doing it. Look, there we go. It's purifying it. Obviously, we can't store a boat in here anymore, but we weren't storing one in here anyway. Um, I'm not really bothered. Um, I made it to store the big boats, and then I realized that I couldn't. But this actually works pretty well, because we've got our pump like in here too. Alright, so kind of a weird way of doing it here, but let's hook this up. I can toggle all of this stuff now. Check this out. So from my phone, I can turn off the lights if I want. Or I can use the sprinklers and turn those off as well. So let's just leave these on for a bit. Let this kind of sprinkle away. I think we've got, yeah, I think we're, we're actually pumping enough water that we could technically have these run permanently. I don't know if we will have them run permanently because you don't want them... That you don't want to over water your crops. That's something I know. I don't think you want to over uh, water them. You want them to be watered to a certain amount. 100% light. Um, and let's get some pumpkins growing here, why don't we? This is a very good one right here. I might want to actually clone that one as soon as it grows up a bit. Oh yeah, so by the way, so what we're doing here, this is basically what I was doing last wipe. Uh, the whole wipe. We're not going to be spending the whole wipe doing it, obviously, this time. I'm not entirely sure if these do compost, but we'll, we'll leave them there and we'll see. Okay, so while that goes, we could go do the oil rig, maybe? Just to kind of give us some action here, because we've not really been doing anything like that. Oh, someone's there. Look, there's a... He just called that drop. You can see there's a supply signal. Alright, try and kill him. He's going he's gonna to be waiting and then he's going to be leaving. Okay, hang on. Let's try and get an angle then on his boat. He, he's going to be leaving as soon as he takes that, surely. He's probably watching for people, so. He only has a rowboat. That's good. That's good. Let's cover. Don't see him, though. But Oh, no, there he is. He is full gear. Could shoot him now. I want to wait, though, till he's in the boat. There he is. Oh, he's going in a minicopter. No. Fuck. Wait. Oh, what's he doing? He's going, like, a different way. Oh, that's just fucked my plan up. For sure. Hit him. Fuck. I, I literally can't even see him now. Oh, man. That completely fucked my plan up. Oh, that's annoying as fuck, dude. Oh, look, he got overwritten. He still has two yield genes, but I don't know. Oh, this isn't a bad one, actually. And this is, this is done. Like, this is actually... It's got an X and a W. And we have four berries. Is that enough to make one T? Yes. Let's do it. Look. We make the first T. <gasps> oh, it's animated. Oh, shit. Blah, 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 blah. Boom. Basic healing T. There we go. The first T has been, uh, has been created. I want to get these seeds uh, in opposite like corners essentially so let's do it there and there um and then that way we can kind of manage these a bit better oh see this is a good one it's got two yield genes now realistically you want more than that you'd want the whole thing to be like yield 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 g g g so y y y g g g would be perfect we'll manage them a bit better next time i guess um but yeah we're gonna finish this episode here we have done quite a lot of stuff today actually we raided um boris finally managed to get rid of him um, got quite a lot of stuff out of his base, which was fantastic. Uh, also stole his minicopter. Done a lot of work on this base today. Uh, we obviously built this whole farm. And we've been doing a bit of that as well today. Um, we got like the pumps and everything. We did a bunch of stuff there, like buying from the bandit camp, everything like that. And we did try and get, uh, the oil rig there, but the, he did escape. Uh, so next time we will probably maybe try and take down the helicopter. That could be good. Um... I don't know, uh, and, and probably do a little bit more of this and try and get our, like, healing teas up and running and stuff. I don't want to do too much farming, though, on camera, so we'll probably do, like, a lot of it off camera and try and try and get this stuff established, really. I don't want to, yeah, I, I, I think it's probably fairly boring to watch when I'm just, like, in here looking at fucking crops. I will have to go out and do some gathering, but I will do that uh, off camera. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this wipe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.